Good afternoon, this is uh, David Garcia. Ms. White here is one of the keynote speakers for the third annual uh, conference here at the uh, in San Simon, and she was one of the keynote speakers just, here. Just uh, elaborate uh, on your, as being the keynote speaker for the th third annual uh, speaker here on the Tohono O'odham Nation, if you would. Yes, I was asked uh, by the committee, in particular Marlene, a few months ago to come to this community and, and speak at this this conference. She she did explain that uh, the theme was healing starts with me, and and I agreed to do so. And then according to your bio here, you're a member of the, uh, the the Navajo Nation. Yes. And what is your specialty? Right now, I am a doctor and I am a pediatrician and currently practicing on the. Gila River Reservation. Yes, I just wanted to emphasize uh, what I have observed working at my current clinic, how I see a lot of uh, family members taking care of children, in particular grandparents who take care of their grandchildren. And I just wanted to remind those family members that it's also important to take care of yourself also so therefore you can uh, take care of those who depend on you. And I did share a few stories of a patient that I, that I uh, take care of and, and she, she lives with her grandmother and how I, I like to talk to her and communicate with her and I call her grandmother as well uh, because I do miss my family, I do miss my home. Uh, so this is uh, pretty much the next best thing and the second part of my speech I wanted to speak to the the younger generation asking them to be thankful for the family members who have uh, raised them and the way that you can show your appreciation is to make positive decisions in your life and, and come back home and and let your your elders and other families know that you are appreciative of that. I, I take it, uh, Miss Miss White, here that uh, again, uh, it was very moving in in, in in what you shared, and I'm and I'm assuming that uh, you were speaking of your own experience. And if you could just share that with uh, the audience. Uh, yes, I I can relate to all that uh, that I spoke of. I was away from school. Uh, for about 11 years, I'm sorry, away from home, going to school for about 11 years, and and it was my family that got me through uh, through the tough times. School was very difficult, and they were always uh, cheering for me and rooting for me and praying for me, and um, I always remembered that, and I always told them uh, how grateful I am to have that. And as far as how many years did it finally take you to complete your, your education to, to where you're at today in the field that you're in? Well, I moved to Tucson in 2003 and I did my undergraduate studies at the University of Arizona. And that took me four years. And then when I graduated, I went on to medical school also at the University of Arizona and that took five more years. So altogether, school was nine years. Then after school, I had to do a residency training program, and that took an additional three years. And so now I am able to practice medicine uh, on my own right now. And with uh, with, with women, uh, is that something that you uh, share with, uh, especially young young women who may be looking at uh, uh, a field that you're in uh, today, working for? Uh, other tribes, or be perhaps maybe their own tribe, whatever member they may be, may be of. I think as women, we are natural caregivers. We we tend to reach out there and, and help those around us, whether it be children or other family members or other community members. Um, I would also let other women know that you shouldn't underestimate yourself never underestimate the talent that you have and, and the knowledge that you possess and that you are able to obtain. 
and always aim high because you never know where you'll land. And so you are now working for the uh, Gila River uh, tribe now? Yes. And, and what's the, the, the clientele that uh, you work with uh, on the average uh, clients that, that come in to, to see you? Is there a percentage of? Uh, it's, it's all American Indian children with the majority being from the Gila River tribe. And, and what, is, uh, what is one of the concerns or the health issues that, that you deal with? Uh, a lot of the health concerns I have comes from proper nutrition and education about what is proper nutrition and just getting back to basics, reminding people what we used to what we used to eat back in the in the um, the old days before uh, there was before there was all these restaurants and, and fast food uh, restaurants nearby. Like here, like here on the Thon the Nation, uh, a lot of the a lot of the concerns is obesity and uh, diabetes. Is that something that uh, that is that, that you have to deal with uh, as as far as the, the, the patients that come in to, to see uh, to see see you? Um, yes, yeah, sometimes I do deal with this. And so, yes. how, how how does that affect you personally? Uh, Well, I, I think the, my priority right now is to just uh, bring back the education and, and let them know where their roots are. They, are. they pride themselves in being an agricultural community and, and people. And I think just reemphasizing that again, reminding them that that's where they come from, um, I think that that would be helpful. Um, well, the theme was called Healing Starts With Me. They had a traditional healer speak right before me. And I'm assuming I'm um, a doctor and therefore I represent Western medicine. Uh, I believe that was the committee's perspective, but uh, I myself personally also believe in cultural and traditional medicine as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, is there anything else that you you would like to share? Um, I do enjoy my job very much. Um, my heart goes out to all the children. Uh, I love interacting with them, and it it makes my job. It makes me happy doing my job. Let, let me just ask you one more question. And again, uh, uh, if anybody was interested in wanting to contact you, uh, is there is there an e a email address or a phone number that you could uh, share with the audience if one wanted to have any co uh, contact with you? Right now, um, I'm at working at Komaki Clinic, which is uh, in Levine, Arizona. The clinic phone number is five two zero five five zero six thousand and if you just ask for me dr. Whitehair the operator can, can put you through and that would probably be the easy, easiest way to get a hold of me thank you very much uh, miss uh, Whitehair and thank you very very much All right, you're welcome.